Now, lastly, but not leastly, is that a word, leastly? No, but it's okay. Hey, this is Amir. This is Diana. And you're watching Vegan Tucson. Welcome back to our channel. If you're interested in vegan food and all other vegan stuff, you're in the right place. Oh. Sit back, relax, grab yourself some Chinese food, and enjoy this episode. We have a new episode every Sunday. Where are we at today, Dee? Well, speaking of Chinese food, that's exactly what we're having today. What? Yes, and it's actually right behind us. Boom. <laughs> we're at Grand Chinese Restaurant in Yale Town in Vancouver, BC. Yale Town is a really busy area, lots of restaurants and shops and residences, and a few doors down, do you know what a few doors down is? Do I know what it yeah. is? Yeah. Nice, go try. Yeah. This is another great restaurant that we're gonna review on. I'm gonna put a link to that episode in the comments. Make sure to check it out. Well, let's talk about this one. Interior, what's the interior like? Well, it's like very plain and bare. There's really nothing to the interior except like a few spread out tables and they have a patio, which is where we sat at today. It's much nicer on the patio than inside. This is not a vegan or a vegetarian restaurant, but they do have a lot of great options. And if you tell them that you're vegan and you want everything to be vegan, they take good care of you, so don't worry about that. Let's talk about the foods we got. We started off with one of Amir's favorite dishes, Mao Pao Tofu. Yes. I even say it perfectly. 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 Like a native Chinese speaker. Say it again. Mao Pao Tofu. Pretty good though, right? You Pretty gotta, good. Gotta, okay, gotta okay. Give me that. Yeah. I mean, people understand what he's saying. Yeah, yeah. We got the chili eggplant and the Shanghai noodles. Boom. Which one should we start with? Your favorite. Mao Pao Tofu. Yeah. I love the Mao Pao Tofu. I think it's great. I wish he had more mushrooms. Does he have any mushrooms in it at all? Not at all. I wish he had some mushroom in it. Because I've had this dish before with mushrooms in it. And I think it's great. But I still love it. I think their version is great. It could be a little bit spicier. It's not too saucy. What do you think? Where have you had this dish with mushrooms before? Yeah. I feel like I'm the only one who puts mushrooms in their <laughs> yeah. randomly at home. Really? Yeah, like it's not supposed to have mushrooms. <laughs> but I also like this dish. It's a very traditional, famous Chinese dish. Easy to make. You can make it at home too. But yeah, I like their version. It's great with rice. And we had ocean noodles. One, one, two, three. three. Oh, I'm gonna give it a Now let's talk about the noodles. I like these noodles. They are thicker noodles. They had cabbage and spinach. Very flavorful. Maybe a little bit oily. But I think Shanghai noodles are usually quite oily. Maybe it's to keep it like nice and separated. Mm -hmm. How about you? I quite like this dish as well. I think it's really good, really well done. Nice, tasty. The noodles are very nicely prepared. It comes with nice tofu chunks in there, so that's a good addition. Uh, Diana accused me of eating all the spinach. I may have. And it would be a great dish on its own if you want to get anything else. One, One two, three. three. Perfect. You know, it could use Mushrooms, for example. It could use mushrooms, it could use carrots, it could use zucchini. But it is what it is. It's a Less noodle cabbage. Dish. It has a lot of cabbage. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed really? the cabbage. Yeah, good. Last but not least, what do we get? The eggplant dish. The eggplant dish. What did you think? I liked it. The eggplant was nice and soft. And it also had tofu and bamboo shoots and fungus. 
The only thing about this dish, I feel like it's a little too sweet. I've had this dish where it's spicier and more on the salty than the sweet side. And this one I found was more on the sweet side. What do you think? Aubergines are actually one of my favorite dishes when they are prepared correctly. But I think it's kind of hard to prepare aubergine. And for those of you who don't know what aubergine is, it's just a fancy way of saying eggplant. You're right, they were a little bit on the sweeter side, but I like it. It can be tofu and even gravy the noodles. I approve. One, One two, two, three. Boom, another four. Anyways, that's what we think. If you guys in the Vancouver area or from Vancouver, go ahead, try it out. And as always, make sure to let us know what you think in the comments. Hey Diana, would you ever go back to Grand Chinese restaurant and dine again? Yes. Now, we used to order delivery from this place a lot, a lot. And I discovered it during the pandemic. Now, this is actually our first time dining in at the restaurant. And should I say why? Yeah, good tell them. No, they're, they're basically family. <laughs> we stopped doing delivery because even though I had specified vegetarian, vegan, no eggs, no meat and all that stuff when I ordered, the most recent time that the food came, it had meat. And I was like, oh my God. And I tried to like fix it. I called the restaurant. I called the delivery company and it just took forever. And I was like, I don't want to have to deal with this. And the, the biggest problem with that was, I don't know if you guys know this about us, but we don't eat meat. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it, was, it was a conflict, you see, because there was meat in our food. And it bought, and the other problem actually about that is it takes forever. So we were waiting for like, you know, 45 minutes to an hour for the food to get there and it gets there and then we can't even eat it. I, I think it was too late to get anything else. I think we ended up eating, what did we end up eating? Well, I don't meat? know what we ended up. And I didn't want to throw away the food because like, you know, it's proper food and like animals like Give sacrifice themselves yeah. for it. So then I had a mirror go around at night walking or, to try and find mm -hmm. like someone to give the food to. Yeah. Yes, I absolutely would go back. I like the food a lot. I think there used to be a place near our house called Hans. Unfortunately, they closed down and they were pretty much the only place that they had Mao Pao Tofu that I really enjoyed. So I like that I have this place now. If you enjoyed this episode and you like the kind of videos we do, do us a favor press that subscribe button give it a thumbs up and ring that bell so you won't miss any episodes as i said it would help us out and it would help you out we're fun we're entertaining i'm cute we have diana you would like it take a look at this video on amir's very very cute face cuter than mine could ever be Thank you for watching. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah.